All right, so we're right at about three and a half hours since we started boiling, four hours since we put them in the pot, and I just cut the heat off because we, oh. What's up, Lazy Dog fam? I hope everybody out there is having a wonderful day. We are on the tail end of what we like to call faux fall down here in South Georgia. We've had unseasonably cool weather the last few days. It has felt really nice out here, but it's just a trick. It's not really fall yet. And in the next few days, we're gonna get back in the mid 90s and it's gonna be blistering again. We have enjoyed it while it lasts, but we have to remember we can't jump the gun and start putting cool season plants in the ground just yet because it's gonna get hot again. And then hopefully more towards the end of September, early October, it will actually start to cool off a little bit. So today we've got something really fun to do in the garden, something I've been looking forward to for quite a while now. We're gonna finally dig all those Valencia peanuts over there. We'll gonna see if we can bowl us a big pot of those this afternoon. Gotta get those out of the way as we start to get this plot here ready to fill it up completely with raised beds. And speaking of raised beds, as you can see here, we've started assembling some of these Ollie Garden raised beds. I got three put together here and two over by the house. This is a 17 inch tall version. These can be assembled in 12 different configurations. This is one configuration we'll be using. We'll also be using several other possible configurations with these raised beds. So Brooklyn and I have been assembling these raised beds at the blistering pace of one to two per night. Got about half of them done so far, still half to go. No need to get in a big hurry. I think we're still on pace to get everything in here installed and be ready to plant some fall transplants when they're ready in the greenhouse, probably late September, early October. And hopefully on one of the next couple videos, we'll do a step-by-step -step assembly on one of these showing you just how easy it is to put these together it's not hard at all it just takes a little time a little patience and it is a little quicker if you got two people and so we'll have 13 of those ollie gardens raised beds going in this plot here all different shapes and sizes now several videos ago we came in here and mowed down that soybean cover crop after the chickens were done grazing it one round and the debris and those soybeans has provided pretty good mulch there. We don't have a whole lot that's trying to grow up through there. So that's good. Not gonna have to fight a whole lot of new weeds in there. And initially I was thinking I wasn't gonna till this plot here, just gonna install the raised beds and then put some wood chips on top of it, which is what we're gonna use for mulch between the raised beds. But we had a couple good comments, good suggestions on one of our previous videos that mentioned that we should probably use some of this topsoil here because it's got some chicken manure in it we know it's also probably got some nitrogen from them soybeans so we're probably going to till this level it out a little bit make it easier to install our main line for our irrigation system and then we can also scrape off a little bit of that soil on the top put it in our raised bed so we can take advantage of having all those nutrients in the soil but before we can cultivate it, we gotta get these Valencia peanuts out of here. So we checked on these a couple videos ago. Got some decent production there. Not home run production, but we got some decent production. Still got a lot more to dig there. I did pull up by a little four foot spot here. My pa came out the other day and was wanting some peanuts to boil. So I pulled some for him. We still got a lot there to get for us. So I'm gonna pull up all those peanuts, put them in the back of the buggy here, then we'll put the buggy in the shade, pick the peanuts off the plants. Hopefully we get enough for a real big pot and put on the fish cooker, cook them outside, boil them this afternoon. If we don't quite have enough to fill the pot, I do know where I can get some more. All right, that's all of them. Got some weeds and junk we got to mow down there before we till this and try to get it cleaned up. And here's our harvest. Here's all our peanuts. Looks like we got a bunch of them there, but I don't think we'll really be able to tell how many we got until we pick them off and put them in a bucket. All right, now for the fun part. We gotta pick all these peanuts off these plants right here, put them in our bucket. This is gonna take a little while, but we're in the shade. Nice day outside. So we're just gonna take our time Get them all picked off here. 
and then we'll be ready to get some water hot. Well, that's what we got there. I was thinking we might fill that bucket, but it's just a little under half full, which tells me I got some work to do as far as my peanut growing skills go. But we got us a little bit of a mess there. Not a whole lot. I could probably eat all them myself. So now I got a little bit of a problem. Our high school football team is off tonight, so everybody won't be at the ball game. And I done told several folks to come over because I'm going to be cooking a big old pot of boiled peanuts. Well, that ain't enough for a big old pot of boiled peanuts. So I'm going to have to run to town, see if I can round up some more peanuts to fill the pot up. In the meantime, I'm going to take these inside, let Brooklyn wrench them off a little bit, get them cleaned up, and we'll get everything set up to hopefully boil some peanuts. All right, so I just got back from town. The so Hoggly Woggly only had white peanuts, but the farmer's market thankfully had some Valencia peanuts, so we got those right there to add to ours. This is what ours look like after they've been wrenched off. Got our fish cooker set up here. That's what we call these in the south because that's what you use if you're going to have a big fish fry. Got our big pot right here. This is the one we mainly use to make our pasta sauce. It also works good for boiling peanuts. Got some water in there, getting hot. Let's go ahead and add these peanuts. Now we'll be able to tell once we add all these peanuts whether we got enough water in there or not. Put the pieces of trash in there, that'll be all right. Dump our peanuts in there. And then get our store-bought peanuts in there too. pushed them down into that water a little bit. I got the heat dialed down so y'all can hear me, but I'm about to crank up the heat there, get these to a rolling ball. All right, about 30 minutes later, and you can see there, we're rocking and rolling and boiling. So now that those are rocking and rolling, we're probably looking at least a couple hours before they're nice and tender. There's not like a magic time with these boiled peanuts. We'll just start checking them in an hour or two, you know, seeing if they're tender or not. When they get nice and tender, that's when we'll start tearing them up. Now there's lots of different things you could add to season the boiled peanuts. Because Brooklyn and the kids are going to be eating some of these, I'm not going to make them spicy. So we're just going to be adding salt. And there's not really a magic recipe for how much salt you should add. Some people don't like them very salty. Some people like their boiled peanuts real salty. So what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit of salt at the time until they get to where I think they're just right. Now you gotta be careful with this because they will get more salty the more they cook and you can easily overdo it on the salt. So just add a little bit of the time, wait a few minutes, try them and then maybe add a little bit more, say 20, 30 minutes later, just a little bit of the time so you can get it just right. You get them too salty and you can't really get the salt out of them. Now, if you want to kick it up a notch, you can add a bag of crab boil in there, add a little heat to the situation. If I was cooking these just for me and my buddies and my wife and the kids wasn't going to eat them, I would add some of this new news Cajun seasoning right there. This is some really good stuff and it's fine with some boiled peanuts. All right, so we've been boiling almost two hours now, minus about 15 or 20 minutes when the wind blew my fire out and I didn't realize it. We've been boiling about two hours here and now's the time we want to start checking them pretty regularly. Now I know they're gonna need some more salt, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt. I done added salt two times. This will be the third time. As you can see here, you gotta be pretty liberal with your salt addition. And you just need to mix that around in there a little bit. So let's get us a few out here that we can sample, see how close we are. Well, there we go. Put the lid back on. So let's see what we're working with here now. We're getting pretty dang up close. Pretty close. Not quite there yet. See the inside of them. Not quite there yet. Not quite as tender as they need to be. Getting pretty close. They need to be a little more salty and they should get saltier the more they sit in that salty water 
but I'd say probably another 30 45 minutes they should be just right now for those of you that don't live in a part of the country where you can easily get boiled peanuts well, let me give you a few tips if you ever make it down this way and want to try some so first off the boiled peanuts in a can they're not really that good also the boiled peanuts at the convenience stores usually not that good you really need to find somebody selling them on the side of the road and the fewer teeth they have usually the better their boiled peanuts are so find somebody with just a few teeth sitting on the side of the road right outside their truck or their car usually with a setup just like you see here and they'll usually have pretty good boiled peanuts now these red valencia peanuts are a little harder to find a lot of your roadside boiled peanut purveyors are going to have white peanuts so could be tough to find some good red valencia boiled peanuts but if you look hard enough you can find them also if you make it down this way this time of year if you find a good farmer's market a lot of times you can find them green like we found today and boil your own so we're going to let these cook a little longer we're going to check them every 15 20 minutes or so you could eat them right now but they will get better they cook a little bit more sit in that salty water a little longer it looks like we got plenty of water in there but that's one thing you do got to keep an eye on sometimes too much of your water will evaporate you need to add some water back to it so you got enough water around all them peanuts all right so we're right at about three and a half hours since we started boiling four hours since we put them in the pot and i just cut the heat off because we oh well steam got us didn't it maybe we can see it now there you go so we are ready so i got me a bowl full here they are still pretty hot but just can't resist got to dig in mm. man that was good putting all those peanut holes in a basket over there that way i can put those in my compost pile let me see if i can show you one There we go. One of them split open. That's it right there. Pretty dang good. Not too salty, just right. And if you want just an estimate of how much salt I use, that was somewhere between 12 and 14 pounds of peanuts probably. And it feels like I used about half this canister of salt. So it takes a good bit of salt for that many peanuts to get them just right. Now this may look like a lot of peanuts for one person to eat, but this is just an appetizer. I can make myself absolutely sick off these things. I can eat a bunch of them. And I ain't really planning on eating a regular supper tonight. I'm just going to have boiled peanuts for supper. Now you don't have to do this outside on a fish cooker with a big pot like we did. You could obviously do it inside on the stove with a smaller batch. It will make your whole house smell like boiled peanuts. That's not necessarily a bad thing. I have also done it in a crock pot before. It takes much longer in the crock pot, but sometimes when we go camping, if we're gonna be hiking or doing something all day, I'll put some in the crock pot, put it on high first thing in the morning, and come late that afternoon, they're usually just right. So I hope you enjoyed the peanut harvest and the peanut cooking today. Now, is it worth it to grow your own Valencia peanuts to boil, or was it easier just to go buy some at the store? I don't know i'll let you decide that but it sure was fun to try growing some and i was glad that we had some success and let me know in the comments below what you think about our boiled peanuts here do you think these things are gross or do you wish you was over here right now so you could finish that whole pot with me if you're watching on youtube be sure to check out our affiliate links below a lot of great companies that we use in our gardens here at lazy dog farm including the company where we got those raised beds i showed you earlier if you haven't already go check out our website lazydogfarm.com where we've got recipes blogs hats shirts all kind of good stuff over there if you did enjoy the video be sure to subscribe hit that notification button like and share and we'll see you next time right here at lazy dog farm oh well mm -hmm. by the beauty of your life